on our third week of our series called The Gardens, a series on prayer. We're going to do something a little different today. You guys all together are going to read the main scripture of the week all together. And guess what? It's on here. I would still like for y'all to get to be there. So today's scripture is on Luke chapter 22, verse 43 through 44. Is it good take it? I bookmark it. You bookmark it. Also, because we're saying we're in this section, but um, all together. Well, you got land. Not birds. Luke 22, 43 through 44. We'll all read it together. Okay. So I'm the board. Oh, oh it's on the board, guys. It's the board. It's on the board. But is everyone ready? No. Oh. No, it's not ready. Any may have pressed the board. Or to be. This is a CSB. We're going to be new on the CFB. CSB. So. All right. Yeah. Is there ever, ever ready now? We're ready to go? Okay. Wait. The found it. We do. All right. I have the benefit by the old. All right, everyone ready to read it together? Me fair. You can about then with me. Can you sing it? Did I just plug to it? Right here. Yeah, literally just sent to it. Okay, we're good. You're good? Okay. I'm ready to read it together. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Hey, yo, yo, y'all read it. We're, re- we're reading it together. You're the blue go through. You're going to do it. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, 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 you're never gonna do that again. <laughs> no, no, I like it. No, that's a good idea. No, no, what's it take? Like? It's gonna be like, So, so y'all, y'all two, the whole mood. I'm saying, but I'll read it one more time, just me, because you know. Are you sure? <laughs> so then, an angel from heaven appeared. Run our knives straight to the hill. The new being named was. He prayed more free, uh, he may pray, and sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. Link three, this, this lesson, sermon, is called Strength Through Prayer. <laughs> Strength Through Prayer. So, when we are, when I was trying to find, when I was trying to find uh, some leaders, to be a part of this youth group, I want I be, I was praying to find some leaders that have wisdom that would help us to grow, not only grow as a youth group, but to help build your faith and your foundation of faith. We did have Devity, but we needed more people. Mason finally, well, not finally, well, yeah, finally got like Ben telling him to come, but Mason came and helped. On Sunday mornings, so we have some home while Devin was working in children ministries to help Ilo because I needed someone to have a second adult for ministry sake. And then we have the Lewis twins and Miss Lewis come as well. And God helped me as a leader to bring other leaders to come in with wisdom and help and volunteer that love their far to service to be a part of this youth. So it helped me carry a lot of weight off my shoulders because I was really stressing. Because of course I have your parents and I wanted them and all that everything, but I also wanted your parents to relax and you guys come in and you guys don't have the pressure of your parents being there because I used to be a you. I used to be like my mom come help. I, I didn't like that. <laughs> I was like mom glee and stop embarrassing me. But God gave me people to lead to leave a heavy burden off my shoulders. So I want to give the thanks to our leaders and Debbie that's about to leave us. But it's okay. Come on, Debbie. Well, Debbie. But even Debbie was a big help, especially through Sunday afternoon with our fun time for the ICF. We can relate to those feelings through our prayer life. 
God gave us prayer to be able to spend time in his pre presence and be refreshed and strength to give us strength. Many of us don't realize the power of prayer in God's presence will strengthen us to do God's will here on earth. And we read it here in the next two verses. So this month, like I said, we have two more weeks this week and next week before Easter Sunday. We are focusing on verse on chapter 22, verse 39 through 46. Jesus is praying on the Mount of Olives. This was the the last prayer Jesus prayed before he is about to be crucified, betrayed, crucified and died on the cross. So this right here, remember, this was huge and was the one of the main reasons Jesus came on earth to do God's will to give us a way to the father. His emotions are high because remember, we, we discussed he passed the weeks. He's 100% God and 100% man. He felt the pressure as part of his human self of what was about to happen. And uh, he was about to, what he was about to face was real brutal, which was dying on the cross. Last week, we talked about the submission to God's will through prayer. It showed us how we can use prayer in our life. in our life to submit to God's will each day. Even when we do not want to, we we saw that Jesus said this powerful line, it is not my will, but your will be done. So God will, will always for Jesus to die on the cross, to die on the cross for all sin. And it took the, his, the cost of that was his life. So the saying that God called, uh, give his son Jesus for us to do the father's will it will also be up to us to cost our own will and our own desires to give to uh, our will and our own desires the power of the Holy Spirit to give us prayer to continue to do God's will so today we are looking how we can be strengthened through prayer to do what God is calling us to do so in our verse 43 and 44 we see verse 43 that Jesus appeared by angels and they were, they were with him to strengthen him to do what he was about to do. Remember last week, Jesus asked to take this cup away. If there was another way, there was another way instead of the way he was about to do. God did not answer his prayer, but it's not his will. It is God's will. So he continued and God gave him an angel to give him strength in this prayer. Jesus is preparing for himself for the spiritual threat that's about to happen. God sent him angels to give him strength because Jesus has to go and die on the cross. This was huge and did not want to face what was about to happen. And but because Jesus submits to God's will, God gave him strength to go and do what God called him to be as the son of God. So Jesus, this was very intense act of prayer very intense we also see that luke recorded this this means that it was a physical this was physically affected him if you could picture the so much pressure and stress that jesus was that he was dripping of blood sweating blood and this is a real a, a real a real disease this is a real thing Scholars said that this was recorded because Luke was also the author. Luke was also a doctor. So this is a real thing. And this is also a case of hemothrosis. Hemothrosis. If you just look up Google, sweat blood, this is a disease, not a disease, but it's a rare condition of a blood vessel that feed the sweat glands rupture, causing them to excuse blood, occurring under condition to extreme physical or emotional stress. By that definition, we can see what's about to happen. Jesus is emotionally, visually stressful about to what was about to come because he was about to die. Luke gave the intention of this prayer and how it was towards Jesus to point to an angel that had to come down to heaven to give him strength to go to do what God is called him to do. This was a test for Jesus and he is about to be ready to what was about to go, not just physically because he had to get up and actually do it, but spiritually to give him strength to go to do God's will. So 
Point number one is use God's strength, not your own strength. Have you ever walked away from a time of prayer feeling stronger? Maybe this is your morning devo. You you read your Bible, you prayed, and you know what? You are ready to attack the day because you had your time with God. You feel different when you actually have a prayer life and you feel stronger. If you never prayed and felt different because of spending time with God, you're actually missing out on the purpose of prayer. The transformation of our of our hearts. Prayer is supposed to help us transform our hearts. We turn to Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, one of my favorite verse to the point that I actually have it tatted, but I'm going to read it. Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you and I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, chapter 41, verse 10. Isaiah here is called, calling Israel God's servant in verse 8, a few verses below, uh, before. God has, has now said that, has not said this yet in this whole book until now, until the second half of the book. And he also put Jacob in the name the, the prophet, which is also, Jacob is also called God's servant. So now in the second half, the second half of Isaiah, he's calling Israel is God's servant people. The servant language here is Israel's special position in relation to the Lord and in relation to the rest of the nation. It is also suggests that Israel is God's representation that will showcase his strength by obeying the Lord and trusting in him. So Israel needs to trust in the Lord and his strength to do God's will, just like we see in Jesus. Israel has no reason to fear because the Lord is with the nation. The very presence of Israel, God should drive out the fear of anything that, that comes in front of him. The terms do not be afraid is repeated seven times the, uh, for the whole book. Do not be afraid. God called us to resist fear, receive his strength through prayer. And not only we see this in the Old Testament, but we also see it in Jesus, the man we need to follow. We see the intense, the stress he was, he was, he was doing, the stress that he was pressured to, to do God's will to the point that he was sweating blood. Jesus depended on God's strength. His human form depended on God's strength from above and he brought an angel to help him to do God's will because it must be done because without Jesus dying on the cross we won't have a way to the father Jesus depend on the father and he and he obeyed him not what he thought was comfortable what was comfortable was he was not to go down the cross but he sacrificed what he felt from his human form to do what his godly foretold him to do, and that's to follow the Father and to die on the cross. So that means we, as sinners, have a way when we put our faith in his works and not in our own works. Hello, this is you, brother. Hi, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Hi, Vincent. Point number two is be strengthened by God through prayer. If you want strength to do God's will, you need to be strengthened by him through prayer. Prayer is important in our life. It's very important to have strength of communication to talk to God. We're back to Luke chapter 22, verse 43 and 44. We see an angel come to minister to Jesus. We don't know what the angel says, but we know they see the, the angel give encouraging words or minister to Jesus and give him strength to go out and do what God called him to do. His situation didn't change. Jesus did pray to take my take this cup away, but his situation didn't change. But he was strengthened through prayer to do what God called him to do. Jesus experienced experienced a wear condition, and this condition occurs with great emotional stress. I keep repeating that to remind you that this is a very emotional, is very dark. This is not a happy moment. This is not a happy moment. 
the physical that Jesus was bearing, the way of the coming of the crucifixion was so severe that he was sweating blood from the stress. Like we saw last week, Jesus continued to submit to God, to the will of the Father, but through prayer is strengthened. Sometimes we pray to change our situation. We pray that God, I do not want to bear this. I want to get away from this. But nothing changes. Had everyone felt like that before? That we prayed something like, God, I do not want to feel like this anymore. Change the situation to be happy. Do we feel like that before? We all felt it all like We've been there. But nothing changes. Does that mean do we not serve a good God? We ask that for ourselves. And we don't like it when God allows us to stay it, want us to stay in that difficult situation. And I'm letting you know this Christian life, we are born to continue to have difficult situations in our life, especially the Christian walk. The Christian walk, people think when you become Christian, life is supposed to be easy. And it's actually going to be much harder because the enemy is, because the enemy trying to go against you. The purpose of prayer is not to escape hardship, but to receive God's strength through the, di through the difficult times we face on this earth. We'd like to pray to have an easy life and everything, but Jesus didn't have an easy life. Why do we think we're going to have an easy life? Most of us are willing to prepare ourselves to meet physical breaths. Few of us, however, are willing to engage in the deep spiritual preparation necessary to meet the spiritual threat. If Jesus is prepping for the spiritual threats that's about to happen on the cross, why do you think we need to be ready for the spiritual threat that's come in our everyday lives? Jesus knew that this is what he had to do. So because of God not giving another way or not even answering the prayer, he still obeyed. But God strengthened him and to go and do God's will. And also he did. He, not, he now want his followers to do the same. Do not depend on your strength. Depend on God through prayer. And he'll give you the, the Holy Spirit that is the gift of be, becoming a follower of Jesus. And that leads to our last point before we have our small group discussions. Go to God for strength. Go to God for strength. One of my favorite Psalms is Psalms chapter 46. Verses 1 through 3, this two of my favorite verses. It said, God is our refuge and strength, a helper who always found in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not be afraid through the earth trembles and the mountains topple. Into the depths of the sea, through its water rolls and foam, and the mountains quake when it's thrown. God is, all, is the only true source of strength in our lives. Everything else crumbles away when we depend our own strength and our own works. In our own works, Albert. When we try to depend our own strength, we will always fall short. But when we depend on God and put faith in Him, we will, we will proceed. We will give through. God is our refuge. He is the place of security for his people. He is never too busy, but always available in times of trouble. We know, so most of y'all know my story with depression. That's why Isaiah 4110 is my favorite. This is why I did get this tattoo, because the cloud was my depression. I tried to go fight for depression by myself, and I could not get through it. I went to worldly things. If it's partying, if it was other things I was not supposed to be doing to escape the pain. And even though I may feel, do not feel the depressed. It was never went away until I depend on God every single day. And he gave me the strength to get through the cloud, get through the depression. It was, should I just mold, uh, not, should I just continue to ignore the pain and you're just still happy for a moment or do I really want to be delivered from depression 
And that's why I depended on God's strength because I couldn't do it on my own. This psalm ima- imagines the worst possible conditions on earth. If it was an earthquake, if it was the mountains falling apart, if the waters, wars, and all that everything. But even that will not be afraid because God is still near to help his people. Identify all the ways that you try to gain strength outside of God's presence. You might run to friends, games, food, relationships, entertainment, you name it. None of these things are problematic. We do need friends. We do, we do need relationships. We do need people to help us in life, but that should not be our number one source. In fact, there are wonderful they have a time and place to be a community, a church home, friends, just to talk to, to the bit. But the problem is we rely on them in the place of God. So if if our friends, if our number one being and God is second, that's where the problem is. If if going to watch 20 hours of Netflix instead of taking it to God is our thing. And we do do that, even though we may not think about it. For me... It was alcohol. To me, it was party. Instead of going to God first through prayer, it should have been God first, then my church family to actually invent and help and guide me and keep accountability to prayer. That's why I love my mom having a prayer a prayer warrior. Me having a prayer warrior in your life is a blessing. The problem is we rely on other things over God. And God does not want that. He wants to put, he wants to be first. They give us a temporary band-aid. That's what it is. Instead of a cure. But don't strengthen us in like the presence of God. How do we get that? When you go to God for strength, you need to show an ID. What do you mean by that, Evan? You need to show an ID. So let me give you this. Who all were uh, went on the air, airplane before? Y'all went on an airplane? We all went on an airplane, right? We all went on an airplane. And they said, show me your ID, especially if you try to go overseas. You need to show a passport. You need to show your ID. It's because they want to verify that you are you and you are going to go through. You need an ID in order to go through security and to go back to the gate area. Your ID grants you access because it shows you you are the person to go. and You are secure to go through security to go to the back to take your plane. Your ID grants you access because it shows you who you are. The Father always, always authority the Son, and the Son always authorities the children of God who carried His ID with His name. How can we access to God's strength? The authority of the name Jesus. So I'm going to ask you. How do you get God's strength? You show an ID, but do you show your person ID? And that's a no, because we cut it, but we are, we are sinners. But when we show Jesus ID, we have access to God's strength to help us to do his will through the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus was 100% man, but he was also 100% divine. He was able to strengthen from God to go on the cross and die for our sins and get the power from the source of God. For us, our works can't get us access to God's strength. But because of Jesus done on the cross, we have access to God's strength to go out and do God's will. And for the kingdom of heaven, not our will, but his will, will we surrender to God's will. Through his son, we have the Holy Spirit to guide us, and we have refuge the protection to protect us Because of us, we endure whatever difficult time we face on this earth because we have the ultimate source, and that is God. God is the only source of our strength, a refuge that protects us and causes us to endure whatever difficult, difficult thing we face. Before you run to other places, before you run to other things in this world, especially when you get older and you try to find strength, Choose to go to God this week. So my challenge for you is to go to God this week for strength. Through prayer. Not through other things. Not through other people. Through God alone in prayer. So pick up your Bible. 
and seek the source of all strength and wisdom. Identify the things in your life you run to before you run to God to fit. Shall we pray? Therefore, we're going to say thank you for this lesson. We want to say thank you for what you have, you have already done on the cross years, years, years ago. But we already know the we already know the end story that you defeated death on the third day and you rose from the grave, so you could give us a way to the Father, so you could show us that He is the source, He is the strength, because you obeyed Him. And we ask us as followers of you. You're going to show us the way to the Father, and you gave us a gift of the Holy Spirit to guide us each and every day. So every day, as Father and Jesus, we are going to pick up our cross. We are going to learn your word, learn your wisdom, because you're going to give us the strength to go every day to follow your will. In Christ we pray. Amen. Five minutes. Oh, wait, I need to pass that down. Did you even make copies of it? Yes, I did.